Siren Head has been spotted. I repeat, Siren Head has been spotted. I mean, me and Siren Head are cool. He comes over all the time and just hangs out in my backyard. Nah, I'm just kidding. I have yet to encounter this towering creature. However, some people out there have and have gotten it on tape. This proves that Siren Head may or may not be indeed real. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and today I'm bringing you the Top 10 Scary Siren Head Real Life Sightings, Part 2. Now this is Part 2, so make sure to check out Part 1 as well. There's a lot of people who have believed to capture Siren Head in action. But before I begin, let me just say that it's up to you to decide what you believe in. Some people believe that he is fake and just created by Trevor Henderson, whereas others truly believe that this creature is real. Same with these sightings. You choose what you want to believe. Starting off this countdown, we have the ancient drawings. One thing that's creepy is that before Trevor Henderson created this creature in 2018, apparently people have found ancient rock paintings depicting this creature from way back before then, proving that he dates back way before the artist even created him. These images can be found all over North America, meaning that there are more siren heads than we thought, or he just likes to travel around. The drawings depict an ancient tribe killing off a siren head, or at least trying to. Prehistorically, only significant things were drawn onto rock. And yeah, I'd say Siren Head is pretty significant. This means that Siren Heads threatened human life way before we thought. Moving on to number nine, we have the car chase. This video was uploaded by YouTube in May of 2020 on the channel Alex Howard. This user claims that on May 13th, 2020, Siren Head was caught in California. In the video, a car is driving down a winding road lined with trees on both sides. Then suddenly, Siren Head emerges and is seen towering over a telephone pole. In the background, you can hear the sounds of wailing sirens. The car continues to drive away and Siren Head just stands there watching him. It's a pretty creepy video, but of course, people are quick to assume it's fake. Although the YouTuber never said if it is or isn't. Maybe it is fake. Like, come on, Siren Head wouldn't let you get away that easy. That guy would have chased down the car and then killed the driver. Coming in at eighth spot, we have the night adventure. Some people are Siren Head hunters. Much like the Bigfoot, they are determined to get this creature on film. As a result, there are countless videos on YouTube of people that purposely wander into creepy forests at night looking for him, just like this next individual. This was uploaded to the YouTube channel Jojo Pastirson. They titled it Siren Head Sounds Located in Eastern Europe. It shows this YouTuber wandering around their town before stumbling upon Siren Head, but we never see him. We can only ever hear him. The video shows the YouTuber lurking around buildings and repeatedly checking out street lamps to make sure that it's not Siren Head in disguise. Using only a flashlight to light their way, they continue on looking for Siren Head. All we hear are the sounds of his screeching sirens and almost like a low growl or hissing. It's pretty creepy. Moving on to number seven, we have the city sighting. So it's said that Siren Heads mainly reside in forests or rural areas. In fact, most depictions of Siren Head are of him in the forest lurking behind some trees. They prefer a forest because it's easy for them to blend in with their surroundings. Then they just wait until a local hiker gets lost or until the coast is clear for them to leave and then invade the small town. But recently, images of siren heads in big cities have began to surface online, such as this image, for example. This image was posted by Reddit user WAF underscore XS just over a month ago. It was captioned as Siren Head in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The photo is pretty grainy, but you can clearly see the silhouette of Siren Head lurking beside some tall buildings. One thing that gets me is that Siren Head's height is always inconsistent. They are said to be around 40 feet tall, but some pictures of him make him only the size of a large tree, whereas like in this case, he's the size of a tall building. Either way, it seems like Siren Head may be terrorizing cities now as well, meaning that no one is safe. In our sixth spot, we have Siren Head's sounds. In case you are curious about what Siren Head sounds like, which I don't know why you would be, his sounds can easily make your ears bleed and can explode your brain. But if you are curious, there are several videos out there that claim to be true recorded sounds from Siren Head. Now, I listened to the audio for you all and I'm still alive. 
so don't worry. But basically, this audio includes different sounds of sirens, whispers, and distorted voices. At one point, you can hear high-pitched screeches, which actually did hurt my ears because of the frequency of it. There are also sounds of an ice cream truck, which is disturbing because it's siren heads way to lure children to him. In another supposed recording, you can hear a very creepy and distorted voice talking. The voice says, this is the emergency broadcast system saying this is not a test. This is a national emergency. It's so creepy. Then there's static and you can hear some creepy singing. And then another voice says, this is the end of days. Say goodbye to everyone, everything. So yeah, if you do choose to listen to this recording, be warned, it's pretty disturbing. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the lurking monster. This is another pretty creepy photo that claims to be a real photo of Siren Head. The photo was posted on Reddit five months ago by the user Radio Arsonist. The photo is taken from either a backyard or front driveway, I can't really tell, but you can see Siren Head lurking in the background, hovering over some trees. I mean, He's not really stealthy. Even though it's dark out, you can still see his terrifying silhouette. Now the user doesn't say where this photo was taken, but you can tell that it's in a small community, AKA Siren Head's favorite place to strike. Making our way down the list at number four, we have the disappearance. On May 9th, 2020, Trevor Henderson tweeted out an image without a caption. The image was a bunch of accounts of supposed Siren Head sightings all across Pennsylvania, like the case of Catherine Hubins. Back in 1978, nine-year-old Catherine went missing from her home after hearing strange noises coming from the woods across from her family's backyard. Her sister Abby told the police that her and Catherine heard their mother calling to them from the trees, but she said something was wrong about this. Her voice was a little off and all echoey, but either way, Catherine wandered into the forest and was never seen again. In our third spot, we have the missing teenagers. From the same post from Trevor, there's a police report about four teenage friends who went camping in 1984. The friends went to Algany National Park in Pennsylvania on an overnight trip, meant to return home soon after. After not returning home, one of the parents of the missing teens, Simon Foster, reported them missing. But before a search party got on the way, Simon turned up at his home all frantic. When questioned, he claimed that there was something huge in the woods that attacked them. He never got a good look at it and didn't mention anything Anything about siren sounds, but some other details made people believe that it might have been Siren Head. Sadly, none of Simon's friends were ever found. But in 1985, the shoe of one of the boys, David Work, was found after it fell from a tree and hit a passing hiker. This is pretty creepy because in the past, Siren Head's victims have been found hanging from high up branches and trees. Moving on to number two, we have the recorded audio. So in my last video, I talked about the Siren Head sightings in the Himalayan mountains. In 1986, people kept going into the Himalayan mountains, but they never returned. As a result, they had a bunch of people disappearing without a trace. Now, police were sent to investigate, but when they got there, they heard an extremely loud ringing sound. It got so powerful that it caused some people to lose their hearing altogether, while others had ear and brain damage. Later on, it was thought that this was the sound of Siren Head, and he was the reason why people were going missing. Now a transcript has emerged from this encounter. The actual audio is out there somewhere, but it's said to be too disturbing to listen to. So in the transcript, one troop says, Alpha, lead the way to the entity. It is some 30 kilometers from you. The other troop responds with, okay, you heard the command, come on. Then out of nowhere, you hear cries of pain before all the microphones burst. That's when the recording stops. Like I said before, you can try and look for the audio, but I don't recommend it. And in our number one spot, we have the disappearing monster. Posted on Reddit two months ago by the user lamps underscore underscore, they claim that they got a real photo of Siren Head. So story goes that they were out taking pictures in their backyard. They didn't notice anything odd until they were reviewing the photos. I swear that's how it always works. That's when they saw what appears to be Siren Head lurking in the distance. They went back out to see if he was still there and took more photos. However, Siren Head was was gone. So if you see in the circle part, that clearly looks like Siren Head's speaker head. So here's the thing. If 
this isn't Siren Head, what is it? Could it be just a tree that happened to be in the shape of Siren Head? Well, that's what people originally thought. But the user went back to the same spot and took another photo. The thing was no longer there. So unless he went out and chopped down a bunch of branches, that's a photo of Siren Head. And that's all for today's video. Let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments for my video, top 10 scary Rugrats theories. Kamora Harris commented, am I the only one who is watching this with no socks on? Like this if you are. Well, I'm currently wearing socks, so it's not me. I'm a simp commented, yeah, I have been obsessed to this channel for years. Not once I have been shouted out, LOL. Well, it's paid off because here's your little comment shout out. You're welcome. Sophie Belladonna commented, I think we also need to talk about how Chucky actually looks like Chucky the doll from the Child's Play franchise. I mean, they have the same name and are both ginger and wear colorful clothes. I think you're onto something. That's creepy. I think that's another theory right there that Chucky from the Rugrats is Chucky from Child's Play. Mm. And that's all the comments I'm showing out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you. fake in real life tell me down in the comment sections down below and why why you think so or not Rem remember to subscribe like the video ring the bell and turn on notifications thanks you guys are awesome this is a drafting axe a shiny sky on you don't want to miss with the axe and hopefully we'll see you in the next video bye child peace